Striding among the greats of 19th century paleontology was Othniel Charles Marsh, a veritable giant in the field, whose work included some early studies on the Stegosaurus, specifically on its brains. And the plural is applicable here, because there was some thought that the Stegosaurus had two, count them, two brains. One comparatively small thing in its head, the other, nearly 20 times bigger, located, well, the other brain was thought to be in its hindmost region, um, around its tail. The jury's still out as to what the second larger part of the nervous system was all about. Some believe it provided a form of glucose. Whatever it was, it turns out not to be unique to the Stegosaurus. It's an anatomical feature that occurs in many reptiles. The creature's actual brain was only about three ounces, which isn't a lot of gray matter to power four and a half tons of Stegosaurus. So any help in the brain department would have been appreciated. Although the relationship between the two organs remains a bit of a mystery. We're pretty sure now it wasn't actually a second brain. But for a long time, paleontologists weren't sure. They were, you might say, of two minds about the whole thing. <laughs> 